Hey everyone, welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about Sumo Coin. This is going to be my first and last video on Sumo Coin. You'll quickly see why. As of as of June 1st, 2018, Sumo Coin's deceased. Rest in peace, Sumo Coin. I don't I don't know if you'll be missed, but rest in peace. Welcome back. If you saw our live stream two days ago, talked about the outlook on crypto mining, GPUs, ASICs, FPGAs. Going to be digging deeper on the tech side of what's very really relevant for what we're talking about here today. Today, it's all about Sumo Coin. Again, our first and last video on it. So let's talk about it. Sumo Coin is a fork of Monero, which took place last May. Sumo Coin has always been GPU mineable, ASIC resistant. That was really all of its appeal. And as you can see, pretty lackluster start, incredible run up. I feel bad. I mean, if this price went this high, that means people bought at this price. So people bought this coin at its high of $10 and plenty of people bought it everywhere between there and $5. That's a very high, it's a very high buy-in. As you can see, we've been tumbling down here for a while. Then there was a little bit of resurgence as they forked to enable GPU mining once again to fork off the Kryptonite ASIC miners. But let, let me show you the seven day here. Yeah, let, let's let's get to what happened. But first, I want to show something good. They have a nice website. They, they have. I think this is cool. Look, I go down. It's like, hey, look at this. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. It's honestly like I'm, I'm messing around a little bit, but it is a nice website. They've had a functional GUI wallet on here for a very long time and I mean th that's the pro so I mean we need to have some pros in this video so let's get to the cons again the biggest appeal was the fact that it was GPU mineable they just posted yesterday that they're gonna be switching back to classic kryptonite which I'll dig into right now for you and explain a little bit why I actually fig I figured out the reason why they've had some incredible drama going on and quite honestly it's due to the fact they're an amateur team and furthermore I'm really getting sick of all these projects that are just entirely anonymous. If you want to be a real cryptocurrency in the future, you're going to need to attribute some faces to your team. I mean, at least a couple. I understand if you've got a couple anonymous players on there, but you can't just have a little band of anonymous people that could all be that same guy running around. So they worked with FireEyes, FireEyes underscore UK. He's the developer of XMR Stack, which is a good miner we featured here. And we showed you the node dev fee, which I felt a little bad about then, but I feel excellent about now. So they basically hired FireEyes. They brought him onto their dev team. He developed Kryptonite Heavy for him and so forth. Long story short, I'll have these links in the video description um, if you want to check them out. But Fire and Ice seems to have, from the get-go, been planning to hijack their coin he wants to hijack their coin they brought him on board they paid him a nice chunk of change and he's just been trying to sabotage and hijack the coin since then so he developed kryptonite heavy form and that was a big reason that they paid him they wanted the, him to develop them an asic proof algorithm he was trying to stage a user activated soft fork by essentially if you take all the hash rate you're going to be able to take over the cryptocurrency and if that is the case he can take sumo and with that he'll have the brand and he'll have the coin already sitting on exchanges not that that really matters if we look at this price chart especially let's go to the uh, today and that's what jumping off a cliff looks like wow so again long story short here he tried to take over. They are panicking. They don't know what to do. So they're going to go back to the kryptonite basic algorithm. And the hash rate of the ASIC miners will more or less secure them from being, you know, a user activated soft fork, which, you know, would they'd be able to take over their coin. But, you know, they had a rebrand coming up for Ryo. Ryo, I mean, the, the coin's dead. This is just such a proof that I would never put a dollar in this coin. Absolutely not. I, I thought it was a cool project because I like to get into and support these GPU mineable coins just on the premise of everything that we are as miners here at the Voscoin channel. But you hop over to the Reddit, you can see that just very just terrible response here. They're not communicating clearly. They're, they're, make, they're panicking. I mean, they're, they're in a tough decision, but they put themselves in a tough decision. There's no one to blame here but the devs. And how can you support an amateur dev team? I mean, I don't want to put my hard-earned money 
in a project like this what if i bought in at five bucks because i would have a lot less than five dollars per coin right now because well if we go over to coin market cap it is trading at 62 cents refresh i bet it's less 61 61 i told you'd be less yeah, we're, they're still on a downtrend. <laughs> it's bad. I don't want to drag on and on, guys. I mean, there's, there's really not much else to it. If you followed our video, we talked about Loki. They're using Kryptonite Heavy. every, And there's Serenite, which is using Kryptonite Heavy. And I think another coin. Um, either way, all the projects, the, the actual algorithm's fine. Um, in, you know, at least here in the short, medium term. So I wouldn't be worried about projects using the, uh, the Kryptonite Heavy algorithm. That's not how this is going to affect it. This is really just all about Sumo Coin, how Sumo Coin is making their own decisions and uh, completely destroying themselves. Uh, so, as of as of June first, twenty eighteen, Sumo Coin's deceased. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Sumo Coin. I don't I don't know if you'll be missed, but rest in peace. But seriously, guys, that's it. Uh, Sumo Coin, as far as I'm concerned, is dead. Keep your money away from it. Personally, I would just cut my losses big time and dump any sumo if I had it. Fortunately, I do not. I actually have like a couple maybe, but it's just, it's totally lost cause here. A couple months ago when I was getting my CPU miner dialed in, I was using them because it was easier to accumulate coins as opposed to getting like, you know, 0.001 Monero. But either way, those coins are basically gone and forgotten now. But what is not gone and forgotten and what is not dead is the Voscoin YouTube channel, which you should smash that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up on this video, leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you think about this whole scenario. Then tell me if I missed something. Tell me if I didn't miss anything and you just want to pay your condolences here. So with all that said, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I